Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks very much for stopping by. Today we are going to do, 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 do key fobs. All right, so um, what you're gonna need is some cotton webbing. See if I can get this to. It's trying, guys. Anyways, it's the braided webbing. You see it a lot on bags or backpacks, that kind of thing. Um, make sure when you're purchasing, when you're purchasing what your supplies, that you get cotton webbing. Do not get nylon. You will end up throwing it out. Trust me, I know. Luckily, I only bought two colors, and it. I think the grand total from AliExpress was uh, like four bucks at most. It might have even been three. Um, so I didn't waste a whole lot, which could have easily happened. Nylon is far less expensive than the cotton, but you need the cotton for this. Nylon is used for seat belt type material type things. Some people use it for dog collars. I personally would never use a dog collar with nylon webbing because it can snap very easily. Whereas this cotton, super thick and does not pull or tear. All right, so let's do a regular sized one here. Let's do this one. So the size you want, your ribbons, and I'm doing Mickey, because I know that surprises you guys. This thing wants to, wants to concentrate and, and focus on every, there we go. Doing red with little Mickey heads tossed everywhere. So then you wanna make sure that your um, webbing, and your ribbon are cut to the same exact size. Mine are 10 inches long. Now let's get you zoomed in here so you can see what I'm doing. Hello, hello there. Now, some people say not to worry about doing the short side. I do it. Um, maybe it's because I'm a lot more careful. Maybe it's because I'm a lot more controlling. We're gonna go with careful because that sounds nicer. <laughs> Um, but I think it gives me a better edge when I go to put them in the clamp. So you just go maybe an eighth of an inch, guys, not much. Uh, you want to make sure that it's being held together, but you don't want a huge one. Now this one is a seven, okay, this is a seven eighth inch ribbon, which means that from here to here, let me pull this up, from here, here to here, it's seven eighths of an inch ribbon. From here to here where I cut it is the 10 inches. Now, something important to think about too, guys, is that, um, let me pull you guys back out since I'm gonna talk for just a second. Hello. <laughs> okay, so nylon webbing and ribbon come in different sizes. I always get the one inch width nylon webbing and my ribbons always go between seven eighths of an inch and one inch, especially when I'm doing key fobs because key fobs and the ribbon tassel keychains, um, and when I do the sewn ones as well. I always keep everything at one inch because I buy the one inch hardware. Let me grab one of those real quick. This is what happens when your sewing room is not so organized, guys. You can't find anything. Haha. -ha. So, this is what the key fob hardware looks like. There we go. And then if you open it up or just turn it on its side, it's got little clamps, little stickies. They they stick out like clothespin tacks. Um, and when you squeeze it together with a special tool I'm going to show you, those dig in to the fabric. They're angled. So when you put the fabric in, in our case, the webbing and ribbon, it goes in like this. And so the ribbon can't move. It literally hooks into it. So this is a piece you'll need. This is key fob hardware. And like I said, I buy an inch. 
Everything I buy is at, is at an inch, with the exception of the ribbon. If I can't find a one inch ribbon, I will buy a seven eighth. But the webbing and the key fob hardware needs to be at a one inch, okay guys? So you're gonna see here, because I'm going to be using a seven eighth inch ribbon. Sorry guys, I gotta zoom you guys back in. I'm trying a new tripod, I hope you guys like it. Um, I asked my husband if he would hold it for me and he found a tripod. <laughs> So there you go. All right, so with this being a 7 8 inch ribbon, I'm gonna have to center it, right? Because we have one inch versus a 7 8 So you're gonna see a little bit of that um, key, you're gonna see a little bit of that webbing on the, on the underneath it. With the except, you know, like for the example, this one, the Star Wars ribbon, let's see if it'll focus. It's trying, it's getting, maybe I should pull it back some. There we go. So the Star Wars ribbon, Gypsy, leave it. Sorry, I talked to Gypsy. This is a one inch ribbon, so it'll take up the majority of it. So when you have a seven eighths, you really want to make sure that you are um, centered. And then just let it go. You do not have to backstitch on any of this because it's gonna be enclosed. And here's the thing, guys. If you mess up a little bit, you mess up a little bit. It, it's truly, this is these are handmade. Nothing's perfect. Coming from the perfectionist. Um, oops, went too far. Backspace, backspace, good lord, backstitch to get it back on track. Um, and there you go, there's another example of how things sometimes go wrong. Um, we're not machines, you know? We're not machines in some workshop. We are making things by hand for the love of making things by hand. And as you can see on this one, I messed up. I went a little too far out, but that's okay. Cause when you fold it over and you put something on it, it's still gonna look really cute. Let me zoom back out. Gypsy, leave it. Every once in a while, I gotta talk to the girls, you know that. So, you know, this is essentially what it's gonna look like. Let me get my head out of the way, maybe it'll focus on it. You flip it over, you see this. The key fob hardware is gonna go on just like that. Easy peasy. The phone is going off, I don't even know where it is. <laughs> it's gonna go off probably a few times then because I have no clue where it is. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Right now we're just gonna sew all of these. Um, when it comes to thread, coordinating thread, this and that, I only use black and white. Um, you can go crazy and drive yourself bananas trying to match up this shade yellow, but then this shade yellow for this one, and then this shade red, but there's a thousand different shades of red. You can literally go crazy trying to get all of that done. Um, so I just do simple black and white. Um, it looks fine. As long as you have a steady hand and you can sew in a straight line, you're good to go. Um, so right now I'm going to finish these up and I will put it into fast forward so you guys can watch. And then I will come back in and do a detailed tutorial on how to put the hardware on the top. And then I'll probably do a whole bunch of those in a fast forward motion. Um, thanks for being so, let me go on to say something else too. You guys, thank you for, um, wrong way. <laughs> thank you guys for being so patient. Um, as you guys know, I had a craft fair. Sorry, Gypsy's going up against the tripod. She wants to be in the shot, I guess. So anyways, back to what I was saying. You're going to hear her breathe heavy. You hear it? She's just an old girl, you know? And she's, she had pneumonia, but she's better. She still has occasional cough and everything like that. It's gonna take her a little while to get over it. The heavy breathing is part of it. So she's just standing up here beside me and putting her head in my lap. Oh. So anyways, um, 
thank you as far as going to thank you guys for being so patient and knowing that i had a craft fair and that the videos kind of slowed down for a little bit because i had to get prepared for it um i appreciate it i appreciate all you guys we are almost at 250 as soon as we hit 250 i'm gonna be doing another giveaway ask anita g how much she likes hers and we'll do another one <laughs> but this time i think i'll pick different um ribbons so anyways i'll see you guys in a little bit thanks bye Okay, so now we are going to concentrate on <clears throat> putting the hardware on the fobs. Now, <clears throat> I think that there are two distinct key fob pliers. I call them squeezers, but they're actually pliers. They're the ones that come this way with a little plastic uh, molding on the tips that is supposed to protect the clips from marks when you squeeze them um but i don't know if you can tell get out of the way maybe it'll focus lord y'all this thing tries harder than anything i've ever experienced i feel like i make you guys go cross-eyed sometimes so anyways this uh it breaks sometimes you can take um fabric let me see eventually i'll find some there we go you can take fabric and wrap it around on both sides and squeeze it that way it'll save it however it's a pain in the romp I have found these. I got them at BB Craft, B E E B E E Craft. You don't have to do anything at all. It squeezes them perfectly and leaves no marks. So this is my go-to. This I don't even know why I keep it. Except I may be a craft hoarder and can't get rid of it literally because craft hoarding. So, anyways, you need some key fob hardware, and I always, always, always. I don't know what I'm doing wrong trying to get this thing to focus. So anyways, I always get the one with the key ring on it. Makes it easier. Don't ruin your nails, don't ruin your fingers, all that good stuff. So let me zoom in. Well, hello. <laughs> yeah, all righty. Let me see. So we're back to Mickey. We're always back to Mickey or Star Wars. I'm gonna take it pretty sides out, okay? And fold it. Well, actually, first you're gonna trim it. I don't know if you can tell. Y'all, I'm so sorry I'm making you guys cross-eyed at this point. It's making me cross-eyed. Anyways, the top here is all sorts of frayed. So what I'm going to do, look how much in focus it is now. It's all frayed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop it off. And then the corners here, these corners, sometimes get a little um, frayed and sometimes they don't really wanna stay in the fob hardware very well. So I just give it a little nick on both sides. Like that. Turn it over. Neaten up that side. Clip a little off. That one I went a little too far. But then you take it pretty sides on the outside, fold it. Now, this is where I'm going to have to move this a little bit. So I can get it in frame because this one, this part's a little difficult to film. So we're gonna fold it pretty sides out, all the way to the top. Fold it directly in half. Now don't squish this part. We want this part nice and rounded. Okay. So now we're gonna take the top. Make sure the top is even. Like when I say that, that they they both 
both sides equal even out up here. Now we're gonna take the key fob hardware and it truly doesn't matter which side you put on the, on which. These, this side has the, um, this side has the teeth and this side doesn't, it doesn't matter. Just put it on and center it, you guys. It has to be centered. Take your key fob hardware, make sure the key ring isn't in the way, and I just clamp it down a little bit, about halfway. Because at that point, you can then take it and make sure it's even. Mine is not. At that point, sh I find it easier to kind of just shove this up into it. Make sure it's even on both sides. Take the clamps, the pliers, the squishers, whatever you want to call it. Push it down as far as you, as, easy, as hard as you can. <laughs> it's usually a two-handed job for me. All the way. You can hear Luca. We ha so we have our windows open. And the side glass door to the pool open, and she is having a fit. So, anyways, there's the small one. This is a 10 inch from here to here. No, seven inches. Sorry, the big one is 10 inches. Now, let's go ahead and clean it up. Clip it. Both sides. That one went a little too far, so we just cut it down a little bit. Again, make sure both sides are even. The top, you can probably hear the kids next door. You can't see them, but you can probably hear them because we have the windows open. Again, take your pliers, squishers, clamps, whatever you want to call it. Sorry, I'm off screen. Make sure it's even. Squeeze it about halfway. I'm not even again. To be honest with you, I'm not even the majority of the time, which is why I only do it halfway. Once you've got it in there, you feel pretty secure. Squeeze the living snot out of it. It helps if you make the sound. <laughs> sound like the Hulk, y'all. All right. Clean this one up. I know I said previously that um, I'm probably gonna video tape or vlog um, me doing a lot of these, but I did it the other day and forgot to vlog it. I had over a hundred to do, so take it again. Sorry, I'm off cam. I, I do that a lot. I stay off camera a lot. Put it on all the way. Take your pliers. Do it about halfway. Wow, that time I was spot on. Doesn't happen very often, guys. Like I say all the time, um, and it rings true. Squish it, squish it, squish it. <sighs> squish it, squish it, squish it. And it remains true. I say it all the time. So I've got two small ones and a big one, and we are all set. Um, they sell much better if they have the little ring on them. Just an FYI. Worth every penny of the ring. Clean up your mess, or else it's gonna look like my floor right now, which I'm too embarrassed to show you. Um, I think you guys are wrong 90% of the time. Hello. <laughs> so, um, anyways, what I say still remains true all the time. We are not machines. We are not perfect. Our product is not perfect. It's as good as we can make it, but it's not always perfect. Um, so anyways, you just want a steady straight stitch, some grippy strength, which I struggle with sometimes, but I still make it work. Um, you need some ribbon, 10 inches of ribbon for this bad boy seven inches of ribbon for this one, as well as seven inches of cotton webbing. Cotton, not nylon. It's another 10 inches for this, and you're gonna need some key fob hardware that I get on AliExpress. Um, I always check Amazon, I check AliExpress, and I go with the cheapest. They're all the same product, 
it's just you have to pay attention to pricing so anyways that's it hope you guys had a good time watching this i hope you make a bunch of these they're easy peasy they are fun and they sell they sell well so anyways you have any questions leave them below hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit the bell appreciate all of you guys so much i hope you're having a great sunday and i'll talk to you later bye guys